Hello, end users, and welcome to the end user report. We are your host. I'm Clarence. And I'm Jamal. In today's show, Rim matches Apple, and we take a look at the Acer Iconia 6120. That's another one that just rolls right off the tongue. Sure does. But uh, Rim announced the pricing for the playbook back on March 24th. Uh, the pricing is $499, $599, and $699 for the, 30, uh, the 16, 32, and 64 Wi-Fi gigabyte models. Uh, they're, so they're matching the iPad 2 pricing exactly. Uh, the playbook will go on sale on April 19th. So I have a prediction. What's your prediction? That it won't outsell the iPad 2? No, that all future tablets will have that same price point. Well, one would hope. You know, I would hope they don't go with the... The Motorola Zoom mode is so let's give them a 4G tablet that's not 4G right out of the box, and mm -hmm. let's just charge them an arm and a leg for it. So. And Motorola only sold 100,000 units. Did you know that? Did not know oh, that. that. Sucks. 100,000 units. That's pretty bad compared to what the iPad 2 is selling per unit. They probably sold 100,000 units in one hour on the iPad 2. Yeah, probably. Sorry, Motorola. You go to go to Best Buy right now. You still can't get an iPad. I know. Too. Is that crazy? You find a Zoom anywhere. <laughs> You know? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, it's just like you said. It's, it feels like using a big phone. You know? So. <laughs> okay, so. But let's get into the meat of the show. Today's show, we're talking about the uh, Acer Iconia 6120. And, well, what's the hook? The hook is it's got two screens, well, two touch screens. And here are the specs. That was. That was I was really touching the touch screen. That doesn't look like you're touching the screen. <laughs> 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 wow, I'm touching. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Wow, alrighty. Uh, here are the specs. It's got an Intel Core i5 2.66 gigahertz uh, processor. Weighs 6.18 pounds, so not exactly yeah, light. Kind of hefty. Comes with 4 gigs of RAM, and that's upgradable to 8 gigs. 640 gig hard drive. It is running Windows Home 7 Premium. Yay, cloud. No. Uh, no. <laughs> as far as ports, uh, it's got two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0 port, HDMI out. Surprisingly, there's no SD port. What's going on with that? Hmm. And of course, it's got Ethernet, VGA, headphone and mic. 1.3 megapixel camera, built-in Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Comes with a one-year limited warranty. And dual 14-inch touchscreens and pricing, eleven ninety nine ninety nine. So, Jamal, before we go to your thoughts, I'm going to automatically assume that you think this is the greatest device ever just for the fact that it's got two displays that are over 10 inches. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, last, it's not, it's last not. podcast, you sat here and said, well, this because device it's failed. It's not a tablet. It's a laptop. And uh, to be honest with you, you know, 14-inch screen at six, six pounds, that's pretty hefty. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, not yeah. that six pounds is, I mean, in terms of computers, that's heavy. you got to consider the people who are carrying these things around. This isn't the only thing they're carrying. They've got all their stuff. And you're adding an additional six pounds plus to, you know, yeah. their carry-on. That's uh, it's not exactly small. I mean, the concept is, sounds really cool. It, dual screens, I, you know, that's a pretty neat concept. Um, they were talking about how you put two hands on the bottom screen and it replicates a keyboard. And then if you just put one hand, it replicates some kind of, um, I guess, the interface where you can scroll and uh, select different things like uh, uh, a, a double web browser. We can have a, <coughs> uh, the image of the... the web page on one screen and then on the other screen and um, I don't know it's it's sounds neat well Looks that's neat. that's the thing it sounds neat but before I get into my feelings on this let's first stop calling this the first dual screen laptop okay it's not Toshiba came up with that idea a couple years ago Toshiba libretto I think it was yeah libretto or something like that and according to Jamal it probably failed because it had two displays that were only seven inches that's probably why it failed. Our battery life probably had nothing to do with it. I think it. with the short battery life, probably yeah. made it fail. And, and that's that's <laughs> another thing with, with this device. I mean, you're running two monitors essentially here, so uh, that's going to be an issue. I do like what you talked about before, the gesture controls. Put your palms down, the keyboards come up. I do like that you can get rid 
of the uh, the scroll pad there. I wish you could make it change size. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like that you have settings on the keyboard. I also like the gesture editor. You can actually make gestures. You can make your own uh, gestures to, to launch programs. Honestly, for the price, I don't think the pricing is that much overpriced. No, it's actually fairly decent. Fairly decent. Pricing. I would expect that something that you pay, you know, for two monitors, you'd be paying somewhere up in the neighborhood of almost 2000 I would expect, but it's probably not because it's Acer, so, you know? Yeah. But I think the dual screens would make uh, multitasking a little bit easier. The hard drive size on this device is pretty good. I mean, 640 gigs isn't small. Nope. It's not uh, to put all your good multimedia on there. I think for some this could actually be a, uh, a desktop replacement, you know, for people who just want to go on, kind of surf, and, and do that kind of stuff. It could With 14 be a, inches? Yeah, no way, man. Yeah, there's some people out there who, you know, 14 inches isn't big enough now. It's always size with you. That's what it you is, know. man. I think if that's why I think that's why you like uh, <laughs> the crying I'm game so much. I'm compensating. Yeah, you probably are. <laughs> um... But I think the, the one thing that you want to keep an eye on with this device, because, you know, we know who's going to go out and buy this. It's going to be Gadget Guy. Mm -hmm. They're going to see two screens, two touch screens. They're going to go nuts. And, and here's the thing. For you people out there who are expert typers, you might want to shy away from this device. Because a lot of these people who are, are really good at typing, they go by the feel of the keys. There's no keys here. There's two physical buttons on this entire device. Pretty much. So... You might find yourself frustrated because you're not used to... I mean, for someone like me, I hunt and peck. I'm mm. always looking down because I always lose track of where my home row is. Okay? Body move effect. But if you're going by the feel of the keys, you don't have anything there. Plus, somebody like me who kind of has a tendency to rest their hands on the keyboard. All right, just to wrap up uh, what Clarence is saying, don't try to do your dissertation on this laptop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing about this device, and I do kind of have a, an issue with this. Uh, one, it's not the most portable device. It's kind of heavy. Two, they also got this writing software on there where you actually write with your finger. And that, to me, screams stylus pen. Okay? I mean, yeah, it's, it's somewhat innovative, but it's a beautiful device. I don't think it's the leap forward that everyone is thinking that it's going to be. You know what that screams? It screams compact iPad. When they had the stylus through the old PDAs and you'd write and it would try to guess the letter that you wrote and then it wouldn't get it right. I could see this doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I my feeling is that this would be a killer device if it was like the 24 inch screen and it was a desktop replacement. So Always has to be a bigger screen. With you. I mean, think about it. You have a 24-inch screen, and then you have the dual. I mean, think about for graphic artists. It would be perfect for graphic artists because you could do a lot of the j hand gestures. You'd have the big You're not screen doing that with an i5 stuff. processor, though, and that's well, you could, thing with, with a that. bigger, larger thing, you could probably put an i7 in there without, without any problems. Uh, but this is supposed to be the hybrid between a tablet I'm and so a laptop, and you know what? I would hybrids. I would think if you want to make a full hybrid hi, full hybrid device like that, maybe make it so the top screen, uh, you know, unattaches from the rest of the unit, and you can actually carry it as a tablet. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that that would make sense. Um, and also, if you actually seen the screens on this and, and seen them in action, because it's using that kind of smudge resistance kind of glass on it. The colors on it don't really pop, you know, and mm -hmm. for me, if I'm searching for a laptop, I'm probably going to gravitate more towards a traditional laptop if I'm spending that kind of money. Yep. I mean, for that price, you can get an HP Envy, get your Dre Beats, and, uh, you know, not have to worry about smudging the screen and then worry about how smudging is going to affect performance, and you're going to have colors that kind of a uh, little bit sharper performance out of your monitor. Yeah. I... I hate to see what the battery life in this thing is, especially when it's pumping out uh, dual screens. Yeah, it's Ooh. rather short. I mean, beautiful device, not quite as innovative as I thought. Basically, what you're getting with this is a heavy Nintendo DS with no stylus pen that runs Windows 7. And you can go into the Starbucks or uh, the Barnes and Nobles and say, look at me. Yeah, and then when you spill I your coffee on the bottom screen. monitor, the whole thing's shot. You know, it's been <laughs> a couple oh hundred beans to get that fixed and wait six oh, to eight okay. weeks. Poor tech guy. 
<coughs> oh, Gadget Guy is going to love this. He's going to be all over it until he uses it. Until he uses it and realizes, oh my God, this thing is six pounds. <laughs> well, there's that and there. It's two <laughs> touch screens. battery life. Then, then you're going to get the people who are going to try to uh, rationalize using it because they can plug in a USB keyboard to the thing. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> it does. You know, defeats so. the purpose. I got two screens, though. Oh, boy. All right, but that, that about wraps it up for our uh, look at the Acer Iconia 6120. Let's move it on to the next segment. That's showing some love. Jamal, who are you shouting out? I'm shouting out to the Nook. Hello. Yay. So you finally stopped just going there for free coffee and you actually put you some know, money down on something? You know, I actually dropped some bones on this, and uh, it's actually worth the money, uh, especially when you download the books for free. <laughs> yeah, that explains but a lot. That the cool thing, no, the cool thing though is if you have a Nook, you can bring in the Barnes and Nobles, and it allows you to read anything in the Barnes and Noble store. Granted, it's only for an hour, but it recharges for the next day. So technically, if you had a wherewithal, you could sit in the Nook store each hour, an hour a day, and read a, and po polish off a book. Yeah, I still like Nook better than Kindle. I don't care what any of them say. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, I think the Kindle store has better selection, but I do like the Barnes & Noble Nook uh, store as well. Um, you just, the problem with the Barnes & Noble Nook store is that you do have to search deeper into that catalog to find what you want. But you got more options. Yeah, definitely. And uh, well, who are you showing love for? I'm actually going to show love to Tiger Woods, and I'm probably going to get some flack for saying that. Man's three shots back right now. I'm hoping he comes back, gets a green jacket, moves a little bit closer to Arnie. Because we all know, sooner or later, he's going to have the record. Just just deal with it, folks. Greatest golfer ever. Just deal with it. I love it because when Tiger wins, they put the green jacket on him, and you can see all those southern whites just go. Ah, see, here he goes. Oh, God, I have to put this green jacket on this. It's always about race with you. It Go goes tiger. Chinese. Now you're tiger. Go white tiger. That's Jesus. what I say. Well, I should say Blasian because tiger is Blasian. Whatever the hell that means. It means black and Asian. Whatever. Just like I don't me. care. Yo yo. <laughs> Something is wrong with you, my Blasian brothers. <laughs> okay. Wow. That does it here for us at the end user report. As always, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Always want you to comment and subscribe on YouTube. And, of course, we always love email. Send email to theendusereport at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out EUR Game Reviews. Facebook page now launched. YouTube page is out there. we got discussion boards. Be on the lookout for Episode 3, filming today. Anything to add? Peace. Later.